So you might be wondering, how do I even like start with seven days? It's such a big deal when you're trying to go longer without washing your hair. At the end of the video, I'm gonna have a chart that you can screenshot. So if you want, you can have a copy of my full like hair calendar that I use each week. Hi guys, welcome to Emory Lane. For my goal is to help you feel beautiful inside and out and remind you that you are enough and also save you some money if I can. And in today's video, I want to show you how I go seven days without washing my hair and how you can build up to that if you want or however long you wanna go without washing your hair. You can totally adjust these methods to work for you. So let's get into the video. So a couple reasons why you might wanna consider going longer without washing your hair is if you're trying to grow out your hair, it really, really helps. Two, it just helps the health of your hair in general. And three, it can save you a lot of time during the week when you're getting ready in the morning. So how I do this is a combination of the process of how I wash my hair, the products I use, and the hairstyles I do throughout the whole week. So it's not just one magic tip. I wash my hair every Sunday, that's just what works best for me, and I wash it in the evening. So technically my first full day of clean hair is Monday. So let's start with my hair washing routine and then we will go from there. So okay, washing your hair once a week. When you do wash it, it takes take a little bit more time because you're doing everything that you normally do maybe a couple times a week all at once. So just FYI, I always start off with a hair mask. I like to put it in before I get in the shower. So before my hair is wet because that gives my hair one more time to soak up the hair mask. And two, there's not water making a barrier between the hair mask and my hair. And so even though most like masks and deep conditioners say you should do it in the shower, I don't listen to them. This one that's my favorite right now is the Garnier Cool Blends. This is their Honey Treasures hair mask. This one I like to use a lot. I also really like using aloe vera as a hair mask and olive oil mixed with honey. Like there are a lot of good DIY masks too if you're into that kind of thing more. So I really like to make sure that my hair is super moisturized. I have drier hair but I think it's important no matter what when you're going longer without washing your hair because you're not using your conditioner and a hair mask as much. You're only using it once a week. So that's I go a little bit overboard because I, that's what's best for my hair, but you can moisturize however much or little as you want. I highly recommend using a hair mask though, no matter what, just because it's so good for your hair, especially since you're only washing it once a week. So, hair mask. I leave it in from anywhere between 10 minutes to a couple hours, depending on what I'm doing. Then, actually in the shower, first... Holy cow, I feel like I just bought the, oh, it's because it tipped over. I thought it was like half empty. Um, I just bought this and I was really mad. I was like, I didn't use that much conditioner. So it's a mixture of the OGX Extra Strength Damage Remedy Coconut Miracle Oil Conditioner. They like to have mouthfuls for their products. Uh, mixed with the Garnier Fructis Sleek Shot In Shower Styler mixed with shampoo, which I am a rule breaker and I mix with this conditioner. Well, I'll, I'll explain why in a second, but I you just do half and half of each of these and then I start at my ends and work my way up so that way there's less product on my roots but it's still getting moisture and like all the benefits of the conditioner without being too heavy. Because I have such long hair, I like to twist it in like a little bun and just stick it on top of my hair because there's product in it. This stuff is incredible, it is life changing. I don't know if I could ever find a product like this but it just makes your hair so much more smoother. Before I shampoo, I like to either, well, I either mix it in with my shampoo or I do it before I use shampoo but I exfoliate my scalp. Exfoliating is such a big deal when you're trying to go longer without washing your hair because it takes all of the extra dirt, oil, builds up all the things that can maybe make your her hair feel dirtier or oilier faster. There are two ways that I like to use and that I think are best to get your hair clean, like extra, extra clean on a weekly basis. One is what I just said before, what I like to do using exfoliant, whether it's a DIY one where you take some baking soda and mix it with your shampoo or like the Kenra one that I use, whatever you want to use. Or two, you could double wash your hair. So you could wash your hair once, rinse it, and then wash it again. It's really just preference, I think. Unless you have a really dry, like your scalp, then exfoliating would probably be better. If neither one of those gets your hair as clean as you want it, if you feel like your hair is still really dirty right after you wash it, maybe try once or twice using a clarifying shampoo. You can get them at the drugstore for super cheap if you don't wanna spend a lot of money on it. That can really help you if you feel like your hair is still really oily after you wash it. Then I use a this shampoo, a shampoo. Uh, this is the Brazilian Keratin Therapy Shampoo by OGX. 
and I only wash my scalp. You don't need to wash your ends. That's not necessarily necessary. You shouldn't be picking up your hair and putting it on top of your head. That is not necessary. Whatever ends up on top of your head is the stuff that most likely is the dirtiest. And then all when you're rinsing out your hair, all of the soap will just run down your strands and that's normally enough unless you like did like a Halloween blue purple fake hair coloring thing and your hair needs a little bit more help then you can take the shampoo and like gently run it down your strands but definitely don't pick them up and like scrub them around because that'll just cause tangles and no fun so when I get out of the shower I brush my hair with a wet brush and add in the Garnier smooth air dry cream okay now let's get into the hairstyles one of my favorite parts Keep in mind, this is a general guideline of what I do. I like hairstyles vary depending on the week and how much time I have to do. And so it can vary for you to totally customize it to hairstyles that are on your skill level and timeline and whatever, like however long you want to spend on your hair. And I try to keep them as simple as possible so you can really customize it to your preference. Also, at the end of the video, I'm going to have a chart that you can screenshot. So. If you want, you can have a copy of my full like hair calendar that I use each week. I was planning on keeping my hair straight for the week. Uh, sometimes I'll keep it straight, sometimes I'll put it in braids, sometimes I'll keep it straight for one day and then curl it the next day. But I, so story time, while I brush my hair, I went to go take a nap, I got distracted and didn't end up actually falling asleep until like 6.30. I woke up at 7.30, I'm like, okay, I need to go wash my hair so it'll be dry. So I don't have to stay up until 2 in the morning waiting for it to dry. And then I woke up at 8.40. <laughs> I was like, dang it, I haven't even put my hair mask in. So I think what I'm going to do is put it in braids. I like to use a t-shirt to wear as a like hair turban rather than a towel. Because one, it, my hair dries a lot faster than it would in a towel or just down. And two, it's cotton. It's 100% cotton. So my hair won't get frizzy like it would with a towel. So this is what my hair looks like before I go to bed. Like I said, if I want to wear it straight, I'll just let it dry all the way and then I will stick it up into a pineapple bun. But since I decided to do waves, um, I just stuck it into two braids. Since I showered so late, I wear, I'm gonna do waves today. So I just take out these braids and touch it up with a curling iron. I have a video where I kind of go into more detail into how I do this. So if you're interested, you know what? I think I'm gonna make a playlist with all the videos you can go watch that have to do with this video and link it at the end. These actually turned out really good. Hold on, I gotta fix this middle part. That is not me. I might not even have to touch these up, man. Wow, you're witnessing a miracle right now. <laughs> Normally I have to go through and fix frizzy pieces. Wow, well there you go. So day two, I keep my hair down again because I built my hair up to that point. Don't worry, at the end of the day, I'll explain how you can build up to having your hair down more than one day. Sometimes if I get bored of just having my hair down more than one day, I'll stick a cute clip or a headband in it so I can dress it up and have it be just a little bit different. One thing that has really helped me is to put dry shampoo in my hair before it gets dirty. Obviously, you're going to be using dry shampoo during this process because you're going seven days without washing your hair. Dry shampoo will be your best friend. My hair gets starts to get oily on day four for me because I've been going so long with only washing my hair once a week. Um, so on day three, morning of day three, I will put dry shampoo in my hair before I do it. Now, day three hairstyle, sometimes I'll just wear it down again with a cute hair accessory or with curls or whatever, but I had been touching my bang area a lot, which is what I did today again, which you probably shouldn't do because that can cause oil buildup. So to avoid that, I will pull my bangs back either with a clip or that day I braided them back into a Dutch braid and then just like stretched out the braid and then hid the braid underneath some hair towards the back with some bobby pins. But like I said, you could use just a clip or do it like a twist, a rope braid, whatever is on your skill level just to get your bangs back or your bang area back. I really don't have bangs. They're like down. This is like the shortest they get. So day four is half updo day. So still rocking waves today. So I just did a high half ponytail and then wrap some hair around it. You could do a half top knot. You could do half space buns. If you're not into like hair on top of your head, 
you could just pull it back into a normal half ponytail or a normal half bun or pull it back with some clips, whatever. Also, at this point in my week, I'm adding a little bit of dry shampoo into my hair every night before I go to bed. I like to add it in before I go to bed during this part of the week because tossing and turning and your sleep can kind of blend out the dry shampoo a little bit better. And also, if I just keep up with dry shampoo and hit my hair before it gets really bad, it's just a lot easier to maintain. Okay, so I'm gonna keep it, again, simple and um, just do a high ponytail. So I'm just gonna take a s section from underneath my ponytail and braid it and wrap it around the ponytail. And just wrap it around like that. And then I think I could take some eyeshadow and kind of fill in right here a little bit because sometimes it doesn't bother me, but today it is. I did a high ponytail because that was, was easy and more convenient for me. If you're not loving your hair texture at this point, you could do high ponytail and like braid it down so you can kind of conceal the texture and just make it look really full and fluffy. Or if you're going to work and you want something a little bit more professional, you could do like a sleek ponytail or like a loosely curled ponytail or something like that where it's wrapped. You could do a low ponytail, whatever. Day six is braids. Um, I did a kind of a mixed side braid. A lot of times I'll do uh, two French braids or Dutch braids like I did to get my hair to be wavy. If you don't know how to do a French braid or a Dutch braid, you could do faux braids or you could put on a baseball cap or a hat or a thicker scarf headband situation if you need to cover up your roots. Faux braids as in like bubble braids or pull through braids, something like that. Day seven is an updo and that day I did a high bun. I, I did a like top not messy bun type look last night. <laughs> I actually braided this braid the night before um, and I braided it pretty tight and now I can go in and loosen it up this morning and it won't take me as long to get ready because I already did the part that takes the longest. So I'm just stretching out this braid and then I'm going to stick my hair up into a high ponytail and a messy bun. It doesn't have to be a high bun, it can be low, it can be whatever. The other day I did like a Katniss type braid where it like went around the front to the back and then like had a side bun. But it doesn't have to be have braids involved at all. Okay, so you might be wondering, okay, how do I like, how do I even like start with seven days? I don't recommend starting seven days. What you wanna do is look at this chart right here and think, okay, I start on day one and then go straight to day seven. And then once I feel more comfortable and I feel like I could go another day, I go to day six then add in day five, and then day four, and then three, and then two. Um, and then you'll be at seven days if you choose to go that far. You can totally go six or five or four or whatever you feel is best for your hair, but it's really nice to only have to wash your hair once a week. Once, once you get used to it and you have a routine, it's like the best thing ever because you can recycle hairstyles. Also, if you want to check out my personal Pinterest, which I'll link in the description box below, I have a Pinterest board called Hair. I think it's just called Hair. I have a section in this Pinterest board of every type of day that I do. So the updo, the ponytail, the half updo, curls, all of that. So you can, if you want to, you can get some ideas on what kind of hairstyles you want to do now that you have all this information. If you want to click right here and check out the playlist that I think would be super helpful that can get into more detail about hair care and the, some of the hairstyles that would work really well with this video, you can click right here. I love you guys so much and don't ever forget that you are enough. Bye! Mwah.